Apartheid, which means separateness, was a political system of segregation, discrimination on the basis of race. Black South Africans were banned from using the same public facilities as their white counterparts, attended separate schools, and used alternative transport systems. Under apartheid, the white minority controlled South Africa, oppressing the black majority. And often, that oppression played out in extreme violence. One of the worst atrocities of apartheid South Africa was the Sharpeville Massacre in 1960. Thousands of people gathered peacefully to demonstrate against the restrictive laws that prevented the free movement of black South Africans. Police opened fire, gunning down hundreds of unarmed protesters. I didn't think we would uh, survive. I thought we would be hanged. Or they would shoot us or something. Another massacre 12 years later proved to be a tipping point. Tens of thousands of young people protested against the use of Afrikaans as the language of instruction in schools. Again, police opened fire on demonstrators. This time, the world was paying attention. The anniversary of Sharpeville has come uh, to be regarded as a symbol for the millions of people who are still struggling to gain their freedom from racial oppression. As civil disobedience increased, activists traveled throughout Africa and the world to secure funding and rally support for the African National Congress, the party founded to unite black South Africans. The most famous of them all was Nelson Mandela, who served almost 30 years behind bars. He was granted unconditional release in 1990, when the president, F.W. de Klerk, unbanned the ANC. Four years later, the country held its first democratic elections. For the first time, millions of black South Africans had the right to vote. And calling for unity and forgiveness, Mandela became the first black president of South Africa. It requires us all to work together to bring an end to division, an end to suspicion, and to build a nation united in our diversity. But decades of discrimination and oppression can't be undone overnight. Today, some of the poorest areas in the country are majority black neighborhoods on the outskirts of the cities. A lack of infrastructure, housing, and basic services such as electricity, water, and sanitation have left millions of South Africans living in poverty. Despite quotas and empowerment policies, black South Africans represent only 40% of directors of the country's biggest companies, and unemployment is at a record 34%. So while much in South Africa has changed, the scars of apartheid run deep. Obey Dehito, TRT World.